Brown. Thank you, Deputy Presiding Officer. I support this motion. Under Labour, the people of Wales have had to endure a crumbling health service, a failing education system, and economic and local government policies that make no business sense whatsoever. Once again, Labour have, ta Labour have tabled a series of amendments that show they are in complete denial about the problems they have caused, and regrettably, I have to say that it is their propensity to indulge in denial that causes many of these problems to go unchecked. The Welsh Government are boasting in pointee of their amendments that A-level students had the best results this year since 2010. That is good news, of course, but the PISA results of 2016, as mentioned um, already, paint a rather different picture from the rosy one presented in Labour's amendment. The results for reading and science were worse in 2016 than they were in 20 2006, and although in maths there was a marginal improvement, it was only of six points in ten years, which is hardly stellar improvement, is it? In Wales, the percentage of pupils considered top performance across reading, maths and science is less than half that across the border in England. Literacy and numeracy are essential basics of education. And if the Welsh Labour Government can't ensure that pupils are both literate and numerate enough to enable them to learn the skills and disciplines they need to succeed in life, and to be financially independent in adult life, there is scant hope that it can get much else right either. The Welsh Government needs to get its priorities right and focus on the basics, instead of trying to criminalise parents, dictating the values children are taught, and interfering with the dynamics of the parent-child relationship, for no other reason than value signalling and an elitist attitude that they know better than the parents. It is no measure of their ability to govern that something may be the best it has been for seven or eight years if it is still worse than it was 12 years ago. In point F, they state that disposable income in 2016 was higher than in 2015, and in point G, they say that wages have increased by 2.1 per cent. All of this might, might sound really positive until you remember that they have been in power in Wales for 20 years. And that boast about wage rises is cynical in the extreme when you consider that inflation is currently at 2.4 per cent. In real terms, Welsh workers have had a pay cut, but Labour don't just deny it, they try to spin it as an increase. No doubt Labour say that the people endorse them as they keep returning them to power, yet they didn't exactly win the last, <coughs> last election. At the moment, they cling to a majority in this place, thanks to the outsourcing of two cabinet positions to get their policies through. And this isn't the first time that Welsh Labour have had to be propped up by someone else. Their inability to run public bodies can be proven in no better way than the ongoing scandal that is Betsy Cadwallader. Labour have taken direct control of the Health Board and still waiting times for some services are getting worse. If their direct involvement makes it worse or results in little or no improvement, how can they possibly claim to be the right people to set the overall strategies and targets for the NHS or anything else? As population figures rise, hospital beds reduce in comparison with that population, as do training places for doctors and nurses. And Welsh Labour refuse to make the hard decisions necessary to put the failing NHS boards back on track. That's the Labour version of the NHS. As, com as competition from talented youngsters across the border, at home and abroad increases, Welsh schools sit at the bottom of the UK PISA rankings. That's Labour's version of an education system. As fewer and fewer people vote Labour, they deny it because of anything they're doing wrong and insist they don't need to change. And when the people of Wales vote to leave the EU, they write, rewrite history, patronise the electorate, accuse their opponents of lying and plan a way to thwart the will of the people. That's Labour's version of a democracy for you. Finally, failing policies across the board, a disrespect for the electorate and a never-ending stream of weasel words deflect blame. That's Labour's version of government, and it's well past time they change to give the people of Wales what they need and deserve. That's why I'm supporting this motion. Thank you.